Good evening and welcome to the channel. Now in tonight's video, what I'm going to be doing, as promised, is giving you guys a tour around this luxury villa to show you what the lighting is like. And trust me, it is really nice. And if you haven't seen our original tour video, then please go check that out. That's a more detailed video in the daytime. But yes, this one is all about the lighting at night. So without further ado, let's crack on. Now to start off with, we are at the entrance to the villa, as you can see, very nicely lit here. We've got some lighting just to the side there, and it just illuminates the entrance to the property really nicely. And if we just step back towards the main gates, as you can see, we've got lighting just illuminating the walkway. And also we've got this uh, nice water feature just there, again, lit up. Now if we step back even further, we can see an overall view of the villa and it looks absolutely gorgeous at night. As you can see, it really does stand out and I do just love the design of this place. It is uh, very minimalistic. It's not to everyone's taste, but uh, it's something that we like and I love the way that all the individual windows are illuminated and that strip just up there and just even over to the side. So what we're gonna do is walk around the perimeter and then we're gonna enter through that garage door and work our way up through the villa. And we are now entering into the garden area. I'll tell you what, we cut through just here. Now this isn't like a big concrete structure just at the side. Again, we had a lovely barbecue out here the other night, didn't we? We had all candles on the table, looked really nice. Again, great lighting just down the side here if you do want to do a barbecue. And as we can see, that lighting in the bushes continues around the perimeter of the garden. And if we just swing round here, you've got this lovely seating area. Again, really nice when you've got that heater on in the evenings there. Really well lit so you can sit here, relax and have a drink. But if we pan round, this is where it gets really good. As you can see, the pool is lit up at night. But one thing that does look very nice is this feature just here. So we've got this long pole and it's quite bright, isn't it, to be it's fair? Bright, yeah. And that really does light up the rear of the property. I'll tell you what we do. We just walk around to the side. There you go, just look at that. Really looks smart, doesn't it? Yeah. Is, Proper decent. I can't believe that we're actually staying in here. It's uh, it's like something you see on a TV show, really, and it? it's not something that I'd ever imagine that we'd be able to stay in. But yeah, it's a wicked property. It really, really is. Just look at that. Nuts. Anyway, let's head on round the side. The only thing that does uh, seem to be lacking is any sort of multicoloured lighting, I'd say. But again, that's not to everyone's taste. Now you have to, uh, excuse me, flip flops going. So you're just walking down the side of the property. And uh, you can see the stairway all lit up there. Again, looks different. Could be almost like a prison though, can it? Yeah. In a sort of way, I must admit. But what I'm going to do is get my partner to just hit a switch at the side. And look at that. Proper, powerful floodlight just there. And lights up this whole area where we've got the basketball hoop there. We've come out here before and we've thrown yeah. a few basketballs around. It's a good laugh. Nice in the evening. Now let's uh, head down this slope to the garage. Uh, like I said, we'll work our way back up through the house. I would love to have the cars in there, <laughs> wouldn't we? That is a home for the AMG, is it yeah. not? I would love to be parking the AMG and the Evo in this garage. It is made for me, it really, really is. Now we can go on to the wide angle in here and it should look a lot better. And of course, it's warm in here, isn't it? Of course, blimey. Yeah. So I'll just shut that back up again. And nothing special with the lighting in there, apart from the fact it's very well lit, I'd say. Yeah. 
never have a problem seeing it. Great if you have got, like I say, a couple of cars in there. You could easily work on your car and it, wouldn't you? It'd be absolutely wonderful. An absolute dream for me. But again, we've got the uh, pool table lit up just there. As you may have seen in the live stream, I mean, if you have seen the live stream, you would have already seen us do this sort of tour. We didn't go into too much detail, but that unfortunately was in lower quality and this is why I'm doing this video. So let's go out here to the relaxation area. So we have the hot tub with uh, colour changing lights in it. That does change, doesn't it? Yes, yeah. Go on, knock it on. Let's get those bubbles on the go. Then we've got the uh, the new sauna, and again, you can change the colour of that light in there. Yeah, a few different colours. Oh, look at that, a bit moody, the old red. And, uh, let's turn it off. Oh. Oh no, I'm powering it on in here now. Oh, oh no, we don't want that on. Burn up. So anyway, let's head upstairs now then. So as you can see, you've got a sort of backlit there, so it does light up underneath the stairs. And it gives this effect to almost like it's lit up the side, yeah. but it's not, it's just the light being thrown off and there being a bit of a gap, so it cascades through there. You can see it. Just up through there as well. And um, we've got glass walkway. And uh, we'll first check out this floor. So we've got a nice light just illuminating that there. Nothing too special. Downstairs toilet. Again, very nice. You've got like a main light in there, but just sort of the ambient lighting looks nice behind the mirror. Just gives it a nice glow. And let's move into the living room area. Or oh, should I say kitchen as well. Kitchen, sort of diner stroke living room. And there's lots of lights going on in here. So we've got LED strips running along the top there. All LED lighting onto the countertops. Again, it's lit up underneath as well. Illuminating the bar stools. We've got this nice light in the middle. LED strip running around the outside just there as well. Then head on over to the living room space. It's got a lamp in the corner, all it underneath, which does look very nice indeed. And as well, down the side here, we've got this strip. That's all lit up. And there is so many light switches in this place, isn't it? I mean, it takes me about 10 minutes to uh, sort of find the right one that I'm looking for. Right, just heading into one of the downstairs bedrooms now then. Again, bathroom. Got a few lights just over the sink there. And then we've got a light that's illuminating just up the top. Then above the bed, again, some really nice lighting just there. That's actually wood. At first, when we arrived, I thought it was um, like, a, like a stone effect thing, but actually, no, it is wood. If I take you in close, if you guys can see that. Yeah, very smart. And then in here, again, some LED lighting just up the top, heading on up one more flight of stairs then again lit up at the back and uh, you get this great view at night looking down through the uh, different layers of glass there can't say i've ever seen a glass floor like this in a rental before Again, just a little bit of light and over that artwork there. Won't go into those bedrooms. The lighting's nothing special in there, plus 
got a couple of kids sleeping at the moment. Then we've got this bit just here, which I think, yeah, you can light that up there. Nice effect that, do, do like that. And then into uh, this bedroom just here. Again, you've got a main light at the top of the wardrobes there but to give it a nicer ambience. Let's leave that off. Got that glow above the bed there. Into the bathroom, again, you've got some main lights for in here, but it just looks nice with that being lit up there. You've got sort of this feature. And uh, I don't know if I told you guys in the last video, but uh, we've come to the conclusion that this whole house is based on being a ship um, because it does look like a ship. It looks like the sort of the end of the Titanic, you know, where we've seen um, DiCaprio stood there with, uh, what's her name? Kate, whatever her name is. And uh, yeah, at the sort of the front of the ship, I'll show you that in a minute. And it's, it's based on a ship. So uh, yeah, it's all sort of sea stuff. So that's why you've got this sort of effect going on just here. Again, it looks nice there with that mirror all lit up. And even in the shower, a bit where you put all your uh, bits and bobs to your shower gels and that, that's all lit up nicely. But if we go out onto the balcony area, again, lit up just out here. Nice light on this table. And this is the point that I'm on about. So yeah, it's like the front of a ship. I don't know what you call that, what the technical word is. And everything around it is all to do with the ocean. So we've got um, a boat just over there. Then we've got the dolphin and just all the sort of ornaments and things like that around the property, like propellers as well were dotted around the place in the basement, there's propellers. So yeah, we come to the conclusion that it's all based on basically around a ship. And I'm guessing like these are sort of sails for a ship as well. But this is nice if you want to sit out in the evening, and just relax, get a couple of drinks. Just a wonderful place. And uh, look at that great view just over the garden there. That pool illuminated and the uh, flowers and plants at the side. Well, that about wraps it up then, guys. Now, hopefully you have enjoyed this video today. I know not everyone will, but I know there was a lot of you guys that did request that I do this video and have been looking forward to it. So uh, if you are one of those people, please spare me one second of your time to just reach up and give me a thumbs up. And hopefully I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.